there are a few crazy things that are going on with Bitsinu right now. Uh, I pretty much talked about it here, uh, but there's something going on on the chart, but not only on the chart, but the, with the on-chain data, we can see what kind of whales are acquiring the token. And I'll show you right now. And because the uh, overall response from the first video was really good, I will start. I won't waste a second of your time because I know your time is valuable. Just if you can, uh, comment down below what is the price of the project. When you're watching the video, you can also hit the like and subscribe button. We're dumping a little bit right now. You can see that this low was pretty weak. This low was pretty weak. That's why we retested. This was pretty weak. And in general, we are in a downtrend, right? Uh, but overall, for number of times, we've seen these areas that we drew in the first video being respected again and again and again. Well, why is that? What happened? What, why did our, all these areas respect them? As you can see right here, something changed on the 26th of January. We had more wallets than the token price. And on the 26th, you can actually see there were more new acquirers, more accum uh, a little bit less accumulating but less dumped some, less people that dumping and more people that are buying some. Here you can also see in terms of volume, this is in terms of well, so you can see that there's more people acquiring right here, less people dumping and in general, and this is why we pump. Same was on the 23rd, by the way. So 24 was also an interesting date. This was the biggest pump. So in general, all of the data is here. What does the data suggest? By the way, this video is no financial advice. If you listen to me, you probably get liquidated with well, your money. But hit the subscribe button. I'm giving you all this information for free. Um, but as you can see right here, um, something really cool today is that we have less acquirers. We have a little bit more accumulating in terms of normal people. We have more people dumping. So in general, today is not a good day to buy. This Sunday is not a good day to buy. What do we need to see? We need to see price fall into this box. And then when it does that, we want to see how price reacts to it. So based on this, we can actually determine uh, thesis. I can make an update if there's en enough interest in the next uh, few days. If it's 10 people ask me to make an update, I will. Because I love you with all my heart. And I want to see you next video.